What's up guys, how you doing? Welcome to another video. So first of all, where have I been? Apologies. Um, look, life got in the way, right? I've been so busy um, with various bits of work that I've been doing that I just haven't had time to sit and properly record videos. So apologies for that, but don't worry, we've got this video, we've already got another video filmed um, that you guys will see next week. So we, we're, we're hopefully back to having some, some regular stuff. So today we are here to talk about the rumored specs of the Canon R1 and apparently leaked specs of the Canon R1. Canon rumors have uh, suggested that there are some leaked specs for the R1 and I've got those right here on my phone and I thought we would just kind of go through them uh, and talk about some of them. So the Canon R1 has been talked about for years, it feels like. If you go back on my channel, you can see when I first started talking about the Canon R1, and that was when the rumours about it came out, and that was so long ago. Since then, we had the R3 that we thought was going to be the R1, and now is the actual R1 supposedly coming very soon? Well, there are some specs, and my goodness, there are some crazy specs. So look, um, I'm not going to go through every single one, but I thought I'd pick out some of the key highlights and maybe what they mean for us, especially as sports and action shooters. So first of all, autofocus. We apparently have a high speed autofocus and exposure enhanced by AI recognition. What does AI recognition mean? Well, apparently it's to do with like um, predicting movements or something like that. Sounds very complicated. We will just have to wait and see what the detail is of that one. Next up is apparently a 30 megapixel full frame sensor. Well, we all figured it was going to be a full frame camera. 30 megapixels and seeing everything on this one from 45 down to kind of 18. I always figured it was going to be more than like the 20 kind of range that you get with the R6. Um, I maybe thought it was going to be a bit more kind of up to the 45, but 30 um, is still huge. That is more than enough for a really high level, fantastic pro camera. Apparently this is no ordinary 30 megapixel sensor. Specifically, it is a stacked dual gain sensor. Uh, so that should be really interesting. You have to assume that it is going to be Canon's um, best uh, sensor to date. So that should be um, impressive. And I'm sure it will be. They're never going to release a camera like that without a very impressive uh, sensor and image quality to come with it. Okay, next up, we've got the big one. And I think the one that is causing the most controversy. So apparently this camera is going to have purely electronic shutter, no mechanical shutter. So like my R6 that you can have mechanical shutter or electronic shutter. Apparently the R1 is going to have a purely electronic shutter. That gets people worried about all oh, the rolling shutter. Well, you know what? You have to assume that if Canon is moving to an electronic shutter for a camera, uh, which will definitely have a lot of use with sports and action shooters, you have to assume that they have then worked out any kind of remaining issues that there were with rolling shutter on the mirrorless uh, electronic shutter system. Uh, it was already better, like my R6 is not that bad. People seem to complain about, oh, it's awful. It, it's not that bad. It is if you use it on something like golf or baseball or something where there is literally like a stick moving fast through the frame. But for lots of other sports, I've, I've used it. I've used electronic shutter for football with lots of success. Um, so you have to assume that they've worked out those issues. And this camera is going to only have an electronic shutter. Something that will be fine for loads of people, but I imagine something that is going to make quite a few people a little bit nervous or maybe even a bit angry about it. Okay, what else have we got? I said I wasn't going to go through all of them uh, individually, but the next one that jumps out at me uh, is the unlimited 40 frames per second. Um, that is in C-RAW by the sounds of it. You can have one third C-RAW, 60 frames per second continuous shooting, um, and up to 120 frames per second full featured continuous shooting. And then the next one, 240 frames per second burst continuous shooting mode. What are you ever going to need 
240 frames per second for. <laughs> that is crazy. You're out there shooting a game. Oh, memory card's full. 240 frames per second. That is some crazy, crazy speed. When it says burst, I mean, I assume that means you're only going to do that for very short bursts. Um, but, but interesting, that still is crazy, crazy quick, right? So that'd be cool to see. Uh, we have enhanced dynamic range, better than the Canon R3 and Canon R5. So dynamic range um, is always something that really anyone looks for in a camera. If you're not clear on what dynamic range is, in, in simple terms, it is the camera's ability uh, to deal with very bright areas or very dark areas within the same frame. So for example, right now I'm here, uh, this is very bright, um, here is darker, and so you know it hasn't fully blown those out and it hasn't fully made this dark shadow, uh, and that is the camera's dynamic range working to deal with those two scenarios to still try to get an even exposure in this image, and, and that's, um, that's dynamic range. So apparently it will be very good. Again, good for sports shooters, you guys are out there like I am sometimes, and bright sunlight and then players move into shadow and stuff enhanced dynamic range will, will be good for us certainly uh, what else have we got? So a few video shooters out there, and uh, look, I'm not a pro video shooter, but I make videos like we are right now. Um, we apparently have 6.7K, um, 60P, and 4.2K, 120P. That's going to be um, interesting. That's going to be on an APS-C, um, as in uh, that means, I'm assuming, is they're going to be cropping the sensor in those type of situations. 12-bit uh, cinema, raw light recording. So look, for video shooters, I think it's going to be pretty decent uh, full frame you've got 4k 120p C log 2 and 3 video recording um, so I think for video recorders it's probably going to be a very decent camera as well I can't imagine myself using it for video like when I'm sat here shooting my YouTube videos um, if ever I have an R1 by the way um, I can't imagine that I would be using it for something like this I tend to prefer smaller handheld cameras for, for my video stuff uh, but for pro video shooters that could be really really interesting and the last point on the list check this one out sleek body optimized for maximum hand feel well if that last one doesn't float your boat i don't know what will that is the canon r1 uh, apparently leaked specs which sound very exciting look if ever i can get hold of one and get it here on the channel I will try. If any of you guys watching this get hold of one and you want to come and join me and we'll talk about it on the channel, hey, maybe we can do that because it is unlikely that I will be able to get hold of a one uh, in the early days after its release, but I will certainly try my best. Hope you guys found this interesting. Canon R1 leaked specs. It certainly does sound exciting. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, all the usual YouTube stuff for me, and I will see you on the next video.